Let's see it, boys. Let's see where we're at. Yo, there we are. Now we're live. Now we're rolling in with the peoples over here. Yo, where the homies at? I'm gonna give a few minutes for everyone to step in, see what's up over here. Yo, what's up, Eduardo? How's it coming, bro? We have to move this pop out chat like every single time, man. It's so far over. How about it, Eduardo? Are you ready to make this shit happen, bro? Who else are we gonna have rolling in here, man? I got I got a little bit of everything for us today. And I hope you hyped. Also, thanks for the like on the video. That always pulls it up. That always pulls a W. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna send out the uh the bat signal to the crew over here. Let's send out the bat signal to the homies. There we go. And with the clickbait ass uh, thumbnail like that, I know my I know my homies at Thero Max Court coming in. Yo, what's up? Nice. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. Hopefully today's a good day. Cause it's only gonna get better. You're only gonna get better shit from me as time goes on. I've been a little bit absent recently because I've been uh, doing a lot of things in IRL, but trust me, it is coming back and it's coming back harder than it ever has before, boys. I got plans for you all, okay? I got plans. Hey, there's Theromax Core member Rockin' Alice. What a homie. Hey, he says, bring us hope. Bring us hope. Yo, let's go. Oh, man, my YouTube meme is all over me. Okay, hold up. Yeah, I'll have to change that. One second. I forgot I had moved this shit over last time. There we go. That's a little bit better. Shrink myself down maybe a little bit more. Hopefully y'all can see my GL collection rolling back there. Alright, let's see here. Hey, I'm getting into DC Comics. Uh, can I check out? Uh, know any good DC Comics you can check out? And if you uh, can, what are some good com Batman comics? Snyder's Batman run and I think it's like late post-crisis, early... Uh, New 52 is fantastic. I really enjoyed it with the Court of Owls and Snyder's time <laughs> With Batman really defined a lot in that era. So definitely that one in terms of Batman Tower of Babel is also another amazing Batman story. I definitely recommend you check out 305 B. You know what I'm gonna bring this bad boy I'm gonna bring this bad boy over to here I'm gonna skinny it up there we go. Now, now we're crushing, boys. Sorry, I'm still getting around to some uh, some of the minor stuff for streams. I will admit, streaming is something that's a little bit newer for me. A little bit more difficult than I'm used to. Yeah, it is for the video you think it is, Gravity Titan. Another Theromax Core member. A hey, big shout out. So don't forget, if you become a member, you will always have your comments read. And yes, we are preparing to go through that whole nightmare. But one thing I will say is I'm not gonna, I'm not just gonna sit back and review the whole video because I feel like that's free, uh, just free basically uh, advertising for the guy. So nah, fuck that shit. I'm just gonna go over the general basics because this shit wasn't even worth the, the time of day to go through and like actually make an entire scheduled out video. It's kind of sad. Ooh, Rock says you'd suggest GL stories from Sinestro Core War up to modern. I'd say even before Sinestro Core War, I'd say like the 2005 uh, Green Lantern Rebirth to modern day, because a lot of the significance of that was was like it established and focused upon um, for the Sinestro Core War leading up to that. So I'd say just a little bit sooner than that. But I agree, Rock. Yo, hey, what's up, Zora Luffy? Another Theromax Core member. Guy knows what's up, obviously. Long-term fan. 
You know, this is hour and a half nightmare. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Yo, damn, Gravity Titan's at work, but he's still making the time to show up. That's how much of a G Gravity Titan is right there. That's how much of a G he is. Yo, if you guys haven't, go check out his TikTok, man. Gravity Titan makes some awesome lantern content. Also, what about cosmology? I find DC's cosmology very interesting thanks to my vids. Oh, that's awesome, bro. Uh, no good comics on that. Any crisis event, so crisis on infinite earths, infinite crisis, zero hour, um, flashpoint, um, death metal, metal, like any of those major ones, dive into it a lot. If you really want, I think the best run for it, just like in that last video I produced for today, um, the Justice League Incarnate has the absolute best, has the absolute best, um, like recap of everything in history. So if you want to like get into DC and you want to know everything in a nice neat package to bow, uh, Justice League Incarnate issue four has an awesome recap of everything in history. But if you want to talk about the totality of everything in like DC cosmology, you're just going to have to read a lot. So I, I, I hate to be that guy, but it's just, that's just how it's going to be. Ida Emanuel. What do I mean by debunked? Uh, what I mean by debunked is somebody thinks that they destroyed my, uh, the way I look at DC cosmology and DLDR, it, it, they have it. It was, it was like silly. Man said, I got two months to cook up a video to debunk all of DC and came back with the same shit he had the first time. Huh. Kind of sad, really. I expected more, I guess. Let's see if I could turn this just a tad bit. All right, but I tell you what, I want your guys' thoughts. I know some of you, I know some of you fucking goons down in the comment section actually watched that shit, okay? What did you guys think? I wanna hear your guys' opinions, and and I'll even address a lot of what you guys say. If it's a super chat or if it's a Theramax core member, I guarantee I'll address it. Um, everyone else, it might just be out there. I mean, we'll see exactly how it is. I'm, I'm not, exactly, uh, not exactly sure uh, what'll happen there. But I gotta do something over here. I gotta do something to keep these questions rolling, keep things memeing. So what do you guys think? What do you think was the best argument he had in the entire uh in the entire debunk? Or the entire video he had, or whatever the fuck it is. And keep in mind, just for reference, everyone, I'm not gonna be saying I'm not even gonna be saying names. Cause I got this image where he basically said he was just doing all this for clout. So like I'm not even gonna mention the name. Not gonna lie. Because if I, find, if I find out somebody's lying to me just for, like, popularity, well, then suddenly, okay, well, then let's just talk the point, right? Like, let's just actually address the points. And to be fair, and to be fair, in his video, he did a really good job of just addressing the points. I think that maybe he got a little bit mad because um, in live streams and stuff, I think I even said during that live stream that I get a little heated and I don't like it when people are dishonest to my face. Um, so, like... Maybe I was a little bit hard on him. Maybe he's a little just mad that I was like really, really tough on, I was really critical of his positions. But just like I said in one of the comments I posted to him before I removed him from the channel because he was posting some crazy ass shit. Um, just because I disagree with you doesn't mean I hate you, right? Like I have, I have debated against some of the bigger boys uh, in the community before. So like, like jobbers and goons and and uh, GB from their community, I debated them on a live stream. Okay. A jobbers and Goons is fucking destroyed Drip Sauce in conversations. Like fucking annihilated him. Dude, m minions in my server have fucking annihilated Drip Sauce in conversation. As a matter of fact, there were scans inside his video that came from people inside my server, unironically, and he even used the exact same phrasing from the guy in my server who had to educate him on the matter. It's low-key wild. Yo, let's see here. Rock says he couldn't get past six minutes. <laughs> no! Yo, the thing that hurt the most was him saying that because scientists on Earth. <laughs> Yo, we'll get to that later. We will get to that later. Yo, fighting Fef, OG member says stop saying sorry. Sorry, dude. I don't know. <laughs> You're mad. Ooh, yeah, that'll be good.
Uh, oh, I have a I have a reaction to Green Lantern versus Ben 10. Damn. Okay. Oh no! Yeah, that was that was the other thing. Yeah, that shit was hilarious, bro. That shit was fucking god tier comedy. That shit was pretty. Ten out of ten. I'm not gonna lie. Let's see here. I gotta pull this shit back up. But back to the point here. Back to uh, back to the point. I gotta roll this shit back together here. So essentially, essentially, everything going on with this. He hit me with this big old video, right? This guy hit me with this big old video, and he's like, "Look at all these instances. Like, here's here's this instance. Here's this instance. Here's this instance." And he's kind of shotgunned a bunch of stuff. And like the thing that's frustrating to me inside that entire thing is that anytime you go to hear an explanation from him, it is just blatant word salad. It is just like brutal word salad where he's just like concepts don't necessarily mean concepts except for when they do mean concepts except for not. And that shit, that shit was just weak sauce. Okay. Like he didn't, he didn't bring anything new to the table. That's what upset me is he, he did more of the same thing because I think it was like no more than maybe 10, 15 minutes in the last video um, in uh, the uh, Goku versus uh, Superman video. But like, yeah, I don't, I don't understand. Just because you have more of a quantity doesn't necessarily mean the quality of what you're having is any better. And I think that that's what he just kind of, I don't know, didn't understand maybe uh, or something. It was, it was just kind of weird, dude. He just kept shotgunning things um, and thinking it was a W. But let's just go through his direct criticisms of me because I received a direct call out inside the video too. Um, so obviously I'm gonna have to address it, okay? Now, we'll go over each one of these bad boys for you, okay? Each one of these, we're gonna do one by one. So he, he knows I'm addressing every one of his dumbass points, okay? So first off, First off, he said, Yo, <laughs> he says I ducked him in the debate. Okay, so let's get something straight. I've been telling y'all for a long time that debates and stuff like that, I don't really have those with fucking randos anymore. Look, if I did debates with every fucking rando I talked to, I would never fucking stop. Okay, I would literally never stop debating. And that's not why I want to make content. I don't only want to make content to debate. I know it's shit that you all like fucking love to see because it's two guys yelling at one each other and it's wildly, wildly, uh, like wildly entertaining to watch, but that's not the kind of content I want to produce. That's not the kind of social atmosphere that I want to produce because then my, uh, my specific, uh, brand or even like my YouTubes and things along those lines, all of those will then be effectively, like I'll just be another drip sauce, right? And like, I don't wanna do that. Who wants to be someone like drip sauce? Like seriously. Like, think about that. This guy is a total douche. Uh, he says horrible things on Discord. Oh my god. Yo, he's just spam pinging the n-word uh, With pictures of me on it inside his Discord. I, I throw it up, but I'm not even sure I can without uh, hitting fucking uh, TOS, bro that like his server is just full of the worst fucking people when I say the worst fucking people I'm talking to people who just they don't actually engage with anything you say It's just like a big let's see who can talk over each other more and like hey do you you do you if that's what you want to do i'm not going to stop you if that's what you want to do but that's not the culture i want inside my faction of people we can have conversations incredibly difficult conversations just like i do in my server all the time um with wally oh my god wally one of the most prominent members of the server all he and i do is fucking argue but there's a certain level of respect there okay that goes into that if you're not going to respect me and my points, especially when addressing me directly or in my comment section of my YouTube, then guess what? You've lost all privileges to interact with me because you're just gaining, you're just gaining a clout off of me and my name and reputation. 
When somebody Google searches me, I don't want your dumbass name coming up next to mine because then I look bad because you're next to me. Your people like this crowd, this is the crowd that I don't want to be associated with. I don't even like the last year and a half has been some of the biggest issues of all time whenever it comes to the scaling community. This is why right here, like prime example, somebody disagrees with me. I got to immediately go to the crazy shit, start talking about doxing, call people the N words. Like this is everything that's lame with like the scaling community. So if you think I'm dodging a debate with him, hey, just know I'm not afraid of fucking nobody. I've debated people four times my size, let alone some random fucking nobody that everybody laughs at um, pretty much everywhere. So like I'd be wasting my time involving with him and would just look bad. So what exactly is the point of that? Silly. I don't have to debate you on something when there's direct information in the real world guiding me to the right answer. It's like arguing with flat earthers. You can argue with flat earthers. You could be there forever with flat earthers. But what exactly does that get you? Maybe you'll convince them the earth is flat, but like, so fucking what? Who cares? If his agenda is to be a flat earther, he can do that over there, like, cool. But he's on a public platform, gets open criticism. Just like he was open to criticize me. Just a shame it was uh, subpar to say the least. Yo, probably saying, drops five bucks. What a homie. He says, concepts are concepts when they support my verses, but when concepts aren't concepts, well, when they, when they support not my verses. <laughs> So true, so true. That's another thing that gets me, is the level of inconsistency whenever it comes to his scaling. Whenever it comes to any other verse that he does not like, suddenly the definitions of words are like abstract. They don't mean anything. There's no words. Whenever it comes to like Dragon Ball, it's like, well, if I use a potential definition of this word that's used, uh, translated three times over, I might be able to get what I want out of it. Like, come on now. That shit is just silly. So, first one done, though. Okay, boys. So, oh, I'm too scared to debate him. Oh my god. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. I'm just not giving dipshits free air. All right. First thing. First things first, okay? Second thing. Second thing. Okay. Second thing is that he says I didn't refute anything in the hour and 50 minute live stream that I did. Okay, during this live stream, <laughs> during this live stream, boys, I shit you not. It was an, I think Gravity Tight said this earlier, it was an hour and 50 minute long live stream. And I even pulled up scans. I, I referenced all the comics I was referring to. I referenced the video about Scott Snyder, like, if you're saying I didn't refute anything, you didn't watch the fucking video. So, you don't even really know what my points are. So, that makes you look pretty stupid. I'm not gonna lie, but like, it is what it is, man. I don't know. Like, I, I can only just look at this and tell you what I'm seeing. And, unfortunately, that'd be what I'm seeing, okay? But... <laughs> if you didn't think I did anything, I, I don't know, bro. I, I, I can't explain that for you. I, I can't... I can't make, I can't rationalize that for you. you. You do you, I guess. But another thing was, is he was salty that, um, like I don't do more for his shit, his content and stuff. Like, I don't want, I only do solid debunks and stuff on figures I think are actually worthwhile or ideas I think that are actually worthwhile. When I attacked that video, I attacked the idea of the sixth dimension being spatial is like retarded, uh, is stupid, right? Because, well, there's direct evidence like refuting that. I, I don't know, I don't know why you feel so entitled to have a debate with me. Um, it's weird. It feels very like obsessive. Like you feel like you, you deserve it for some reason. I don't owe shit to anybody. Uh, just so we're all on the same page, nobody's owed shit uh, from me. Weird. Uh, the only thing I owe shit to are my fans, and clearly uh, you're not in it. The only reason I even did that live stream in the first place was, guess what? It was paid. Somebody paid me to do it because your content was so stupid. So, like, 
that's fair. Like, I don't go out of my way to cover somebody's content just for, like, for the memes. People ask me to cover this stuff because it's a misconception or it's blowing up in the community. The idea of the whole 6D DC thing is blowing up in the community. And you're one of the biggest progenitors of that. How could you not expect to be criticized? That seems really, like, really silly. Uh, really silly. So don't think it was anything inherently malicious or anything. Somebody paid me to do it, so I fucking did it. I don't know. And he proceeded to laugh at me because I said dimensions don't explode in reference to a panel he had on screen of a dimension exploding. 11 of them, in fact. And he laughed at me for looking dumb there? Huh. Now, that brings me to another minor thing. And as I actually know, what, we're, hold on, we're, we're going to come back to that a little bit more, that, that concept a little bit more uh, later on, because trust me, it, it's it's going to get it's going to get me me. OK, but let's, let's do the third. Right. We're talking we're talking about the specific things. I'm talking the incredibly specific things that um, he posted in reference directly to me on his uh, on his video. OK, so third. Let's talk about. <laughs> Let's talk about the idea that you clearly cannot read correctly or even hear correctly, okay? Because your last criticism of me was saying that Scott Snyder didn't directly say that the sixth dimension is spatial. I don't know what universe you're on. Like, legitimately, I don't know what universe you're on because in that interview it is verbatim stated he doesn't even just say the sixth dimension is he says the fifth and sixth dimensions are beyond all dimensions in a con in a conversation where they were talking about these dimensions existing past infinite spatial dimensions so you might be too illiterate to understand how english works in that conversation but guess what it is what it is the scott snyder statements are indeed true it sucks to suck but he did indeed say them and of course like much copers he follows up immediately afterwards with oh uh, but even if he did uh it's death, death of the author death of the author man well if only there weren't other things supporting that information inside the original dc mythology that you just throw out because you don't think it works damn isn't that pretty unfortunate so just as i said in my uh post yesterday you can either believe some random dude online or you could trust the guy who works with the guy to cre who created the multiversity map and then created the sixth dimension. It's as simple as that. The reason why I said illiterate was because the guy doesn't understand the difference between worlds, universes, and dimensions. Like. You've got to you've got to take some time and understand that sometimes a verse won't use words in the exact same way that they do in the real world. And other times they do. And sometimes in verses they do both. So, you have to decipher that out for yourself. Confusing worlds and dimension is pretty lame. There's very few authors who do that throughout all of DC. And saying that certain people do it twice for dramatic effect in the exact same sentence is I think one of the worst arguments I've ever heard. Like when a girl's talking about her cosmic vision, the wanderer from the Larfley stuff, and she says, I can see beyond all parallel worlds and infinite dimensions. Parallel worlds inside of DC is all the worlds in the Orrery. So parallel worlds and then infinite dimensions after that. Says the same thing twice for fun effect. That's fucking hilarious, boys. How fucking lame. How fucking lame. You know, if somebody was going to be packing, like, a, a debunk for me or something along those lines, like, I would expect, I would expect something, like, good. I didn't even get anything good. I'm just... He promised a lot of hype, and then we got to his video, and it was the same lame ass shit that we saw last time. How is that a W? Like, this is the best you have? This is the best you're repping? The legendary ultimate scaler of all time? This is the best you got? Like, really dumb arguments? Let's 
uh, to follow up with even more, let's talk about more of these dumb arguments. Yo, if you think, if you think uh, I make some bad arguments, and I'll admit, I, I'm a developing person. I've, I've learned and, and change as, as time goes on. I'm not a perfect guy by a long shot. Um, you can, you can ask even the people who've been to my server for a very long time. My opinions will change based on new information that comes in. I could be a little stubborn, yeah, but I'll change based on the new information. Some of these people are so stubborn when new knowledge comes in, they refuse to change. And that's just upsetting, man. The prime example right here of just being let down by somebody who's supposed to be a master in the industry. Just sad. Let's talk about some other really lame-ass arguments I heard in there. Ooh, scientific theories cannot be applied <laughs> to any fiction because they aren't proven in the real world. Okay. I want you to think about how fucking stupid that is. I want you to genuinely think about saying scientific theories can't work in fiction because they aren't proven in the real world. There's all sorts of shit in fiction that's not proven in the real world. Every single character. Oh, you're a Dragon Ball guy, right? Well, guess what? Half of that is not a scientific theory. Does that mean none of that can be applied to the real world? Does that mean we can't use outerversal scaling because that's not proven in the real world? We have problems. That's another thing. You're saying that super string theory or uh, string theory isn't even uh, considered in the real yeah they're already talking about it. it's up to 11 dimensions man these are like real things we have in the real world but we don't have anything past that we're completely unaware for anything anything past that so to say that you can't apply like concepts or uh philosophies into your scaling that is like blatantly blatantly dog shit like scaling yo probably saying dropping another banger for 10 straight he says what's getting me isn't just his dc interpretation of dc but it's the inconsistency of it i guarantee if there was someone saying infinite dimensions in dragon ball he'd latch onto it no matter how inconsistent i've said this before i think actually i think probably sam probably heard me say this in one of my prior streams that is one of the biggest things that i use against uh like all these dragon ball people these motherfuckers reach so fucking hard so fucking hard to make dragon ball the greatest shit ever but then when it comes to other verses they just they're borderline they have to borderline lie in order to make it sound good whenever it comes to like other verses i don't care if you're a highballer for uh marvel i don't care if you're a highballer for dc those things don't matter for me okay what i do care about is when you're a highballer for one and you're like an extreme low baller for the other because that to me shows a high level a high level of dishonesty and i don't like dishonesty now if he was to say like yo dragon ball is like high outer you know I'd be, okay whatever that's not really my world of expertise you can say whatever the fuck you want about that over there but whenever you start saying yeah they're high outer and dc is fucking 4d bro that shit is comedy to me because even with the most lowball interpretations if you applied that same metric to to dragon ball you wouldn't get them past shit okay you literally couldn't get them past fucking jack shit. 4D at best. At absolute best. Even for the strongest characters in the verse. Um, can canonically, obviously, there's other versions of characters who get stronger. But, like, come on now. Let's be for real. Yo, we got another 10 coming in from DS. I'm hoping named after my favorite, uh, one of my favorite games of all time is Dark Souls. He says, for the debunk and for the culture. What a W. Yo, DS coming in. He's jacked. He clearly knows what's up. He's here for the debunk and the culture. And sorry, uh, this is a little bit of a heated chat, boys. And I'm not doing a lot of gameplay in the background. I'm sorry, but it is what it is. Um, I'm just kind of chilling, to be honest. Apparently, there's some people arguing that Dragon Ball is infinite stacking layers of narrative transcendence and beyond that. Uh, how would it compare to DC if true? That is not the case in canon. Maybe in some of the alternative uh, versions of it, most likely heroes. Um, infinite stacking layers of narrative transcendence. Uh, I don't know. I'd have to go watch Xenoverse because I don't even know. I, I don't or not Xenoverse uh, heroes and probably Xenoverse too because I, I, I have yet to see anything implying anything of that caliber. I 
what's the funny thing is drip sauce is claiming his debunk is the most accurate look if any dumb motherfucker ever posts on his uh his YouTube video, the most accurate, epic, super mega scale ever. That's how you know chances are they're full of shit. <laughs> chances are they, they don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> yeah. That's clearly somebody reaching to make themselves sound cooler. Like, come on now. Come on now. Yo. Let's do another here. Let's do another one. Oh, uh, we, we kind of touched up on the concepts don't scale anywhere, which like there is some level of truth to what he says whenever he says these things. He just says it from a context to somebody who has no fucking clue of what they're talking about. So like, he's like, concepts, concepts like this don't scale anywhere. And it's like, okay, well, that's, that's fair if you want to claim that. So what do they do in verse? Damn, you could have just like scale where the concepts go in verse. And you'd have to scale that based off of, like, I don't know, the rest of the cosmology. Crazy. That shit is just wild to me. I don't understand why people have such a weird, such a weird hate for it, man. Yo, Shadow Man jumping in chat with some fucking banger ass truths here. Yo, I feel bad for Official Divine. Yeah, facts. Facts. Official Divine came across him and thought he was just a good guy to do uh, DC content. I don't blame Official Divine at all. Um, I don't know a lot about him. So, like, it sucks. Yeah, because it sounds like, uh, it sounds like uh, he just kind of got shit on due to being associated with somebody like that. Yeah. Weird how that came back. Remember how I was saying that earlier? Yeah, just dude being associated with somebody like that. You'll have problems. Yeah, prime example. Let's that motherfucker grab the weakest guy I had. Are you for real? Let's see here. Oh, yo, this was one of my favorite ones. This is one of my favorite ones. So, rolling back into the context of what was just going on with that last one, whenever it comes to concepts don't scale anywhere. So it's like, concepts don't scale anywhere. Batman comes out and says, yo, these guys are platonic concepts specifically. And he says, yo, Batman doesn't know what he's talking about because Batman just makes a knowledge claim. <laughs> yo, <clears throat> that was God tier, bro. That's one of my favorite, one of my favorite fucking moments, I think, throughout that entire thing. Oh, also, boys, I need everybody to take a minute. I need everybody to take a minute and do two things real fast, okay? Two things real fast. One, like and subscribe this motherfucker. How do we have 20 something people in here and only 11 fucking people having liked the video? And two, we need a huge fucking W in chat because it's WallyWest.exe's fucking birthday. Make sure we celebrate that shit for him. Hit us with a W. He's a huge Theramax Core member, so we gotta be giving him, we gotta be giving him some love. Oh, also, goddamn, shout out to White Bat Audio, bro. His music is so banger. Every time it comes on, bro. Every time the synth wave slaps, bro, it's God tier. It's God tier, boys. <laughs> yeah, saying Batman was fucking stupid, though, that shit was crazy. That was crazy, man. That was crazy. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, yo, and then possibly my favorite one. I think, look, there was a lot of stupid ass takes that happened in this video, but I think probably definitively the best one. Oh, the best one was saying Limbo is on the same level as the 3D multiverse. Oh my God, bro. That shit was some of the funniest things I've ever said. Yo, Limbo is shown on the map beyond the God Sphere, a structure he thinks is a fourth dimensional construct. He thinks a three dimensional construct exists somehow beyond the fourth dimension. What? Bro, what is even happening, bro? I couldn't believe that shit when he said it. Says, yo, technically this is a three dimensional construct. <laughs> I was like, what the? fuck yo that man was insane insane claiming that how are you gonna claim that bro that loki insane man how are you gonna say a structure that is conceptually beyond three times over at least at least 
is somehow below all of those things. What? It's a realm where conceptually your archetype goes to die because everyone in the multiverse has forgotten you. And he said they're actual people, like people who got who like fell off the multiverse. Like what? <laughs> Crazy, bro. Crazy. Loki wild. Loki wild. And yo, Drips, uh, uh, I know you're out there watching this shit. I know you're out here watching this shit, bro. I hope you are, because look. Be as hyper, as crazy, or as wild as you fucking want. Like, bro, like... Dude, no one takes you seriously for this reason. You're really confident, and that's cool. But, like... Confidence is half of debating. Like, knowledge is the other half. If you want to be the ultimate mega debate lord god, then, like, you have to, like, do that part, too. And you've got to start being honest to the other side of things. Look, I'm not... I fucking love Dragon Ball, okay? I, I've done some recent videos on it because I genuinely, genuinely uh, love Dragon Ball. I don't like people when they're dishonest to a property, okay? But you know what? You go... You have at it, bro. You go do you over there as best as you possibly can. You stay the fuck away from hard versus to scale. Dragon Ball is not that hard to scale. Um, it's pretty straightforward in terms of the canon. I can't speak of everything else out there because I haven't taken the time to go invest in that shit. It's not wild or anything. It's nowhere near as complicated of DC despite having a very long shelf expectancy. Or shelf life. Oh my god, I'm like fucking 17 Dianas whenever I spawn with these motherfuckers. Yo, let's see what else we got. Oh, yo, my favorite part was, my favorite part was, was like, here's, this is another one, bro. I thought was just fucking comedy, okay? Another part was, it's like half the scans in his videos were jacked from my video. <laughs> I, said, he didn't even, I was probably educating him on half of this shit or whoever does his DC scaling. <laughs> they had no idea, bro. Like, the funny part is, is I actually have to pull this up because I almost died laughing. I was like, Damn, all these scans look like they came from a, uh... All these scans look like they came from, like... They grabbed them. Okay, it's just Dr. Ian. They grabbed them from, like, a YouTube video or something. Yo! Oh my god, where did I put that? Hold up, I gotta find this for you guys, because... Yo, this was comedy when I saw this. I was like, there's no way that this is real. Oh, maybe it's in my... Oh, here it is. Yo, this is comedy. Oh, okay, hold up. I gotta pull it up. Yo, I paused it in the middle of his video because I was like, yo, that looks a little familiar. Yo, he wasn't even trying to hide this shit at one point in time. Look at this. This is my cosmology video. He just screenshotted my cosmology video. <laughs> you could look. This is how, this is how I tabbed my cosmology video right down here. And I know that's the case because he doesn't even use hypertime in this specific manner. He doesn't even believe it's uh, like a higher dimensional pan, uh, like a, a higher pan dimensional story room. He believes it's verbatim like a higher, like a temporal realm. <laughs> how sad. The man couldn't even find the scans I had, so he just had to start screenshotting for my video. And there's a bunch in there that were like really, yo, his quality of scans, I don't know who he has getting his scans, but it, bro, your scan quality is fucking ass tier. You gotta get some better ass scans, bro. That like, every turn I would look at like a scan he'd post and I'd have to pause cause I'd be like, yo, I can't read what the fuck this scan says. Or it would fly past the screen so fast you couldn't even read what was going on here. This man spent two months editing that video, but the editing in the video was just putting the picture on the screen. Or moving it so fast you couldn't read it. Like, what did he spend? What did he spend those months doing? The, the video in the back was the exact same as the official Divine video. 
So he didn't edit anything in the back. That was all the same stuff. The music was the exact same. Like, did he spend that whole time scripting? But he scripted pretty much that same video for the first one. Like, I, I just, I don't know. It was so fucking weird. <laughs> so, it was funny to see myself featured in the video about as much as he was featured in the video in terms of visuals. But, I mean, that's whatever, right? Like, I'm, I, I'll actually, I'll actually, uh, I'll take that as a compliment that I have scans that not even the great master, uh, master debate lord uh, has so he's got to pull them from my content i feel i feel very special yo another thing is is yeah i've got scans from people because the second all this beef started happening people started sending me stuff and i started talking to other creators and i've got scans that verbatim say he gives no fucks about whatever it is he's talking about he just wants clout and that he doesn't read any of the content outside of Dragon Ball for what he researches. So, another reason I'm not debating him is because you have no intellectual right to be in a conversation with me about a topic you're clueless on, okay? Now, you might be a really good debater and everything, but you, you just can't actually engage with the stuff I'm talking about. Prime example. So, like, if you don't actually read the material, I don't want to have a chat with you. I'm gonna be real with you. Like, why would I sit back and have a conversation, or not a conversation, a debate with somebody when this man hasn't even fucking read the content I'm talking about? He has no clue what I'm talking about. And even, and even, I, I maybe I'm, that's too mean though. Maybe that's too mean though. Because there are some wildly intelligent people, wildly intelligent people who can genuinely, genuinely not read a verse, but sit down and have conversations with them about it and critically bounce ideas off. I think I do that a lot with Job or Godot whenever it comes to, uh, like, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Look, I'm not the most skilled JoJo's uh, scaler by any means, okay? I'm not gonna die on that hill. But I'm intelligent enough of a scaler that we could sit back and forth and we could poke and prod ideas off him. But I would never debate fucking Jobber in that field because that would be stupid. I'd humiliate myself. I'd look like an idiot because I'm talking in a field I have no fucking expertise in. I wouldn't do that because it'd be dumb. Not sure why he did here though but you got me i don't know it just comes off as incredibly negative and incredibly dishonest when i have random people sending me these messages it's like yeah this guy doesn't care he's just in it for the clout and he doesn't even read the stuff that you've read and spent years doing okay i'm not gonna sit here and be a comic curator and be like i've spent my entire life trying to make it happen eternally eternally for cosmic armor super no i'm, I'm not that guy okay um but I do spend a good amount of time, and I give people certain levels of expertise based on their knowledge. Like, Wally being a prime example, right? Like, he's a Flash guy. I might know a lot of DC, but if we want to sit down and talk details, chances are I'm not going to be able to talk circles around the guy who's spent a large chunk of his life dedicated to following up on that. It's just, it's just dumb. I don't know why anybody would put themselves in that position and think it was intelligent. Crazy. Crazy. <sighs> Yo, I asked this question earlier. Um, let's do a quick recap for everyone who's uh, just now showing up. Everyone who's just now memeing out. Yo. Um, don't forget, this is a super chat. Uh, super chat stream. So if you guys have any questions you genuinely want answered, make sure you ask them down low if it's a super chat. It's guaranteed. If you're a Theromax core member, I'm always trying to hit up exactly what you're saying. So feel free to ask questions. And the questions I'm gonna ask you all now is what exactly do you think was something that you want me to talk about from that stream? Because I don't want anybody to feel like I'm missing something, okay? I'm gonna cover every single thing that anybody has a question about on inside chat. Let's see what chat is talking about recently. Oh, Outer Versal Naruto. I've seen a lot of really high-end Naruto shit recently, which feels really weird. Yeah, Zoro Luffy's right. If you're not an expert and not aware, why debate on something you haven't researched? Yeah, you'd look like a real fucking idiot if you did, huh? You'd be the most unknowledgeable, knowledgeable person in the world. I don't know, for me, the real irritating thing is, is like, 
I will admit, whenever it comes to DC, there is an incredibly small amount of people who I think actually can sit down and have a genuine conversation, like a genuinely engaging conversation uh, about it. And that's a pretty hot take. I, I think I'll probably get a lot of hate from that. But when you think about it, think about your favorite DC scalers, okay? Think about some of your favorite DC scalers that you ever, ever uh, can remember. Who are they? Type down low. Who's your favorite DC scaler outside of me? Be genuine. I can think of like three other people I would trust. That's like a YouTuber. I'm talking like actual big name YouTubers. Yo, probably saying says, if he's just a grifter for clout, should we even be paying him attention? Well, that's why I'm trying really hard not to give him any direct attention. I didn't mention him in the name or anything along those lines. Uh, it's because I don't want him to get a lot of attention. That's why I'm not reviewing his entire uh, video or anything along those lines, because uh, the guy's not worth uh, investing time in. He's just kind of like a, uh, I heard other creators refer to him as a content leech. He just kind of tries to leech onto your content so he can get views and try to detract a certain amount of people from uh, your viewer base. <laughs> That's what I've heard from like seven or eight people. Nobody takes them fucking seriously. Yo, let's see. So I asked the question, who all exactly do you guys trust to be like uh, bringing out the pain, right? Whenever it comes to uh, DC scaling and stuff like that. I'm seeing some... Jobbers and goons, I'm seeing some webcam parent. Jobbers and goons. Okay, so like, I'm gonna be real with y'all. Look, something I think that's toxic inside this community in general is if you disagree, you have to fucking hate each other, okay? That's something that bothers me. I'm not gonna lie. It really, it really bothers me um, that people have that ideology thinking those things. It's kind of silly if I'm being real. Um, it's like really silly. I don't agree with everything on Jobbers and Goons. I was on his channel, I think debating him in GB about it. Um, and I still feel pretty confidently about how that went. And me and him are still homies. That's like the cool part about Jobbers and Goons and I is we've had our issues in the past for sure, but no matter what, we know at the end of the day we're both content creators we're both homies we don't want to ruin our fucking relationships with each other over that and we can both understand each other's positions even though we disagree right now we might even get heated we might yell at each other or something but that's just how we interact right it's not inherently negative we're not like frothing at the mouth and doing crazy things towards people as a result of that Oof, god this song's a banger Yo, DS says, where does the presence actually scale? Layers into extraversal. That man created everything in DC. All the presence haters get mad because it's true. Um, Seth is phenomenal. I don't trust Seth DC scaling for shit uh, at all. I have not seen him cover anything in that department. Well, no, I guess I can't say that because he did do like a pretty solid video on like could batman deal with the kira stuff the smaller level things yes i'll agree with that the higher level things definitely not definitely not definitely not at least i haven't seen anything to say that he is one maybe he is a good one i'm just not the biggest fan of the guy in the current moment uh hopefully i could see some changes within him and his personality as time goes on because it sounds like he was caught up in some pretty unfortunate things um back in the day so unfortunate I'll always give somebody a second chance, but I have to see some level of, uh, a, I have to see some attempt at being better and doing better. And just like, just like, uh, good old, uh, the person we're talking about throughout this entire conversation, um, like, I'll forgive them too if their attitude changes and they interact with people differently. Let's see, Webcam Parrot? Ooh, Webcam Parrot. I think Webcam Parrot is one of the most knowledgeable figures inside uh, DC in general, uh, when it comes to the fan base. 
I don't agree with a lot of his takes. Uh, I think webcam is the progenitor of all of the weird uh, 6D presence stuff, if memory serves right. I would not, I do not subscribe to anything in that department whatsoever. Uh, so he also said like Trigon was comparable to the presence at one point in time. So yeah, I, I don't agree with their scaling, but clearly due to the amount of content they've produced, they're really knowledgeable. Um, so that's pretty W. Um, Pivesi, uh, Pivesi's, I like Pivesi. He just, he, I think he's in that crowd where they're just so worried about being right that they just spend more time arguing than anything else. And it's kind of sad because I think they could do something really solid, like really solid in my opinion. Let's see here. Uh, my video uh, was very cool and useful for a non-comic book reader. Where do you read comics? Uh, I read comics in a variety of places. The comics that I uh, value the most, I purchase in bulk. I have a huge amount of X-Men runs. I have a huge amount of uh, fucking Green Lantern content. I have a huge amount of major events from Marvel. My favorite events I collect, if I don't enjoy them, uh, or if they're not like my favorite story of all time or something along those lines, I may pick them up elsewhere or get them digitally. So that would be my answer to pretty much all of that. 305 Thies asks about Superman, like Seth's Superman video. Um, I don't remember his Superman video. If he doesn't say Superman fucking Molly Wops, then that's pretty unfortunate. Not sure though, honestly not sure. I don't watch a lot of these people's content. I don't watch a lot of other people's content just in general, I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. Damn, that is super unfortunate play here. Let's see, what are the questions you guys got? Obviously we're pretty much done, I feel like, with the review of everything going on. Uh, whenever it comes with uh, the original video itself. There wasn't really anything that, I guess in summation, let's just do a quick summary, okay? In summation, this didn't have really anything new in it. It was a bunch of being oblivious or intentionally uh, malicious, ignoring comments or uh, content to justify a lower position than uh, what it, uh, scaling wise than it actually is for the totality of DC's cosmology. Um, a clear lack of knowledge and clout chasing. That'd be like the best thing I could say. That'd be, that's what we're walking away with. Uh, that's what we're walking away with whenever it comes to all of this. I, I wish he had something more solid, but I'm flattered that he thinks my content is good enough to put in a full video of his. That's pretty cool. I'll, I'll grant that. But that's pretty much where it ends, boys. Like, I'm not... I don't, I'm not gonna roll through and make a video every time he's salty that I disagree with him on, like, a topic. I think, uh... Sitting around and doing shit like that is honestly kind of like the weak way to go about, uh... Like, the whole YouTube industry in general. Um, yeah, like, I don't, I don't know, I don't really know what else to say, dude. It's, it's pretty much, uh, that's straightforward. It's a shame that, um, uh, it's a shame that, uh, things are where they are with the scaling community, but it is what it is. What do you do, boys? What do you do? You can't save every goofball out on the internet. Now, I got this advice from a really good, uh, a really, a, a really strong person I look up to. Uh, not in this community specifically, but uh, in another community. He said something one time. And that shit he said, I think, was wildly knowledgeable. He said, At any point in time, there's this rule called the 40-40-20. The Okay, he said whenever it comes to being on YouTube Whenever it comes to being on YouTube, there's 40% of people who will always agree with you 
There's also 40% of people who will never agree with you. But your goal isn't to appeal to either one of those. It's to appeal to the people in the middle, that last 20%. The people who genuinely, the people who genuinely don't, uh, don't know, aren't made, uh, aren't solidified, like 100% decided. That's all I got to do is hit those people in the middle. And I'm fine with that, man. So if y'all mad, if y'all mad or upset that I didn't manage to, uh, I didn't go out of my way to go and uh, debunk the full video, or uh, I didn't go immediately to go like debate the guy or something along those lines. I mean, you can leave if you want. You don't have to be here. That's the best part about YouTube is anybody can unsubscribe whenever they want. Okay, clearly I don't want anybody leaving. But if that's what you got to do, that's what you got to do. Like, I'm not here to judge. And to all you fans of the other goofball we're talking here, who I know you're watching because you guys can't help but hate watch because it's your entire career. Good luck out there. Like, you guys do this time and time again with every industry or every major YouTuber who disagrees with you guys. You've become the laughing stock of the community. And... I hope better for you because I hope better for the community. You all have the opportunity to change, okay? You're not going to though. That's the worst part. <laughs> you're not you're not going to at all. I hope you can though. I believe in you all. I don't know why I should, but I do because I always believe in second chances. Now we can pop that out the way. I'm glad we got that cover, boys. I swear, in the last three days, I've gotten like 47 fucking million. That's right. That's an accurate number, too, in case y'all are wondering. That's an accurate number of how many comments I've got. Please address the debunk. Oh, my God. Man. I wish, I wish there were more people I really could work with in that department who weren't potatoes. But unfortunately, some of the best scalers don't even fucking make content. I've said that before, and boy, was that true. Rohan asks me, do I read Marvel comics? Uh, do you think I will make Marvel content? I've made a few Marvel videos before. They didn't do too well um, because my majority of my audience is obviously like DC, really DC centric. But I love me some Marvel comics. I'm, I'm not going to lie. That's like a big thing for me. I just don't scale it. I just don't care to scale it. Like I do stories and stuff in it. Ooh, let's see here. Probably saying drops five. Who's stronger between Mixie, Batmite and Mandrake and Cast? Are you asking, like, in a 2v2 situation? Um, yeah, I'd probably take... Ooh, that's a good-ass question. Yo, that's a real good-ass question. In terms of raw feats, Mixie and Batmite should fucking mollywop. But in terms of cosmological implications, Cass and Mandrag could have some real wild shit. I don't know, that's a banger one. My gut tells me Mixie, but it wouldn't surprise me to see Cass and Mandrag come up on top of that. It wouldn't be the end of the universe either way to me. I'd have to do, I'd have to follow up on that a little bit more to be 100, not gonna lie. There we go, now we're in business, boys. Yo, what are the questions we got? I, I'm, I'm here, boys. We might as well, right? Oh, you know what? Just for the kicks and giggles. Let's, let's just do this real quick. Yo. Yo. Remember when he said that uh, there was no spatial fifth or sixth dimension 
in that Scott Snyder video. Let's just look through this real uh, fast. Modern string theory suggests there are actually 11 dimensions to reality. Oh, keep in mind, he wouldn't have said modern string theory counts because it's not an actual provable theory, even though we can't physically go and confirm 11 dimensions. Think about that. That's the magic number needed to sort of unify physics. And DCs uh, stated that they have countless dimensions in the past. Countless dimensions. Housing entities that transcend the previous worlds, like infinitely stronger gods. Okay, so clearly here we're discussing, yo, infinite spatial dimensions, like very clearly beyond that. Infinite spatial dimensions. Look at this. But Easy. your sixth dimension is actually different, right? That's what I took from it. It's not a physics-based spatial dimension. It's more. Okay. So for everybody who who didn't believe it, not a physics based spatial dimension not a physics based spatial dimension so all the 6d haters <laughs> all the 6d haters guess Yo. what not a spatial dimension look pretty straightforward look at this bro more like an administrative layer that oversees everything below and mixes yeah, dimension yes yes okay yeah. yes yes to all of that so snyder did say that in this interview why would somebody say that he didn't say that in this interview when he did? Hmm. I wonder if someone's trying to lead me to a bias by selectively telling me what happened. Huh. Okay, so whenever you guys, uh, every time you guys hear... One of these goofballs talking about how Drip, like, debunked anything. Just remember this here. This specifically. Nah, Ty. Drip ain't shaking in his boots. He's one of those guys who ain't intelligent enough to know when he's about to die. When he's getting eaten alive in the chat section over here. Holy cow, boys. How long have we been rolling? How long have we been rolling? Let's see here. Yo, they put me in the category of entertainment. Let's fucking go. I'm entertaining today, boys. Yo, we rolling up to an hour. Okay. Yo, what'd you guys think of that video that dropped today? Yo, that video that dropped today went hard, man. I threw everything into that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, because that shit was rough, man. Yo, let's see here. How do writers even come up with these cosmologies? Do they all just study complex physics? Most people study complex physics and even theoretical and philosophical uh, implications of things beyond what physics essentially will lead you to. So like, you'll have, uh, you'll have like, uh, I mean, pretty much, I mean, 90% of like old school DC was just based on, like the whole God sphere is just based on philosophy and like philosophies and things along those lines. Yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this bad boy. I was told I would never make a video like this. I'm too scared. I'm too scared to make a video like this, guys. I'm terrified. Yeah, DC should hire me to recap uh, comics. Yo, if I could do that, I would make a full fucking job out of that. If I could have somebody edit my content and I could go through and just do like all of the Green Lantern stuff and like all the OG X-Men stuff. Yo, I, I swear to God I would, bro. I, I would, I would be a uh, big hype. Oh, look at this kid out here celebrating his birthday. What a W. Okay, let's see here. Oh, I'm not gonna, oh yeah, I should pull W here. Alright, let's see. <laughs> Yo, Yark says Drip got cooked. He ain't sauce anymore. Man's 
air liquid. Lol. Yeah, bro. All the amount of time I put inside uh, that video, dude. I edited that video for so fucking long. That DC video. You guys wouldn't believe. You wouldn't believe how long that shit took, dude. It was forever. Shout outs to Papa Thero Max for that one too. Lumos, I have a question of Superman Adventures 586, though there is context Superman fights an endless swarm of beings from a dream within the dream of creation. How powerful is that? There is context. Um, if memory serves right, it's probably just things from the dreaming, right? Like the God Sphere level characters is probably where I would place that most likely. Uh, this game is a game called Legends of Runeterra. It's free to play. You can get it on your phone or your computer. Recommend it. It's in the League of Legends universe. It's pretty fucking fire. How powerful is Batman Beyond? Uh, it's an alternative future to our universe, so pretty, pretty fucking strong. And they have crossovers. They're main canon, so like it's the big shit. Like they're in the original, they're in the Fifty Two worlds, so they're definitely canon. Since I read X Men, I heard Charles wasn't as chill as his movies and series counterpart. Is that true? Uh, very true. The more you find out about Charles Xavier, the more you hate him. Uh, if you want a solid example of that, Original Sin is a prime example. And uh, I don't remember the exact run, but way back in the day, you find out Xavier kind of had a weird thing going on with her when he was her mentor. It, it's weird. It's weird is all I'm going to say. Definitely weird. Definitely weird. Fuck Charles Xavier, though. Magneto and Cyclops all the way. Let's fucking go. Yo, what else are we repping, boys? What are the questions you guys got? You, look, you guys don't get me on here often, okay? Here's your chance. Here's your chance. Slap me with the super chat, because those are guaranteed to get answered. Otherwise, I'm just going to start fucking monologuing, okay? I read off a few of you guys, man. Yo, keep talking, Theromax Core member. Says, how would the Amalgam Universe scale? Do they get scaling from both counterparts of each fusion, or should they get their own scaling? They may have attributes of each, but chances are you should probably hold them accountable, just like I would for any other universe. Um, the Amalgam Universe would be considered strong, though, because it's definitively in the multiverse uh, now. We have, we have evidence of that, so... Jeez, oh man. Today was a day. Today was a day, man. Especially with that weird shit going on before uh, getting in here, dude. Low-key wild. Low-key wild. All right, do you guys like... Uh, do you guys like uh, like streams like this? Is this something you guys are like actually down for? Like My streams are always so hit and miss whenever it comes uh, to like my actual content. Sometimes they're really good and sometimes they're just like straight up ass. Oh, yo, that's a classic right there. Rohan is spitting fucking facts right now, dude. Holy shit. The new Avatar live action, I haven't seen the whole thing yet. I'm four, four or five episodes in. It's not too bad. There's a lot of changes. A lot of changes, boys. Like, I'm talking a fuck ton of changes. Uh, to how they progress and certain character traits. I don't think it's even that bad, though. I don't think it's bad. I think people are shitting on it really hard. Maybe it changes as time goes on because it could go up or down depending on how things go. But, like, yeah, it's... I wouldn't say it's bad so far. What do you think of Darkseid beating everybody recently? Uh, he actually didn't beat them recently. That was uh, a story reflective of post-crisis. That didn't even happen in the modern day, so that's still post-crisis uh, uh, dark side, if memory serves right. Keep Talking says, where does Alistair even scale? Um, He's a really powerful overlord in Hasbin Hotel. He threw hands with 
what's his face uh, Adam who is capable of like melting city blocks pretty safely um so probably somewhere in those ranges like a bare minimum I haven't dug into has been hotel lore um but probably somewhere in there Ooh, Ty says he's making a video on uh, mountain level has been hotel scaling. Let's go. Yeah, best of luck to you on that, Ty. Yo, send that to me when you're done. I'll see about sharing it if you finish it up. I always like helping out smaller content creators, man. As long as you're not a psychopath. Oh, man. Boys, this was a wild-ass day. These last few days have been really wild. Yeah, Stolas, Stolas, and the, uh, not the Gentry, <laughs> that's DC, uh, the Goetia. Stolas and the Goetia are like tiers above Alistair in terms of power. Because there's actually a, uh, Vizipop made this basically scaling document, unironically, about like the, the hierarchy of hell and all the figures in it in terms of their powers. And overlords are actually nowhere near the top. Uh, you've got entire layers of people above them. Like Adam wasn't even considered high tier inside hell or inside heaven. Yeah, the gentry be all strong for a uh, good old husband hotel. Let's see. Have I read King Doomsday comic? Uh, fuck. Which one was King Doomsday? Is, is that the King of Hell one? Is that the King of Hell run? I don't remember. Let me look this up real quick. Yeah, this is the one, uh, yeah, this is the one where he beats the fuck out of, uh, Supergirl and Martian Manhunter. Yeah. I will admit, this one was kind of weird, because there was so much going on. Like, he thought he would've, like, the first of the Fallen didn't want to get directly involved because he's afraid he'd blow up existence doing it. Which is sad because, like, that didn't happen whenever he fought Upside Down Man, but let's forget about that. Um... It's just kind of unfortunate that we didn't get too much directly. I'm not going to lie. I, I wish there was more solid characters that showed up to fight, and it wasn't as ambiguous as it was led. Ooh, probably saying, drop him five. What a homie. Says, what do you think about the Mageddon arc of Justice League? Oh, that's pretty dope. Uh, I didn't really have a problem with it. I know some people really freak the fuck out uh, whenever it comes to... Uh, whenever it comes to this run. But some people... Some people... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Some people freak out about things in general. I didn't think it was bad. He, he was, he was, he, he was, uh, he's good. Oh, I don't know if Alfred came back. Oh no, Rock and Alice, dude. He wants to talk about the damn Galactic Senate so much, bro. He's gonna give me a conniption. Yeah, I swear it's it's Rock and Alice's goal to give me a conniption every one of these streams, bro. I swear to God. Yeah, that Galactic Senate. That's something I do need to cover, and I might cover... I might make the video today or tomorrow, so you guys have content for today or tomorrow. But I've got to recover... Uh, I've got to cover the more epic events of both uh, Green Lantern and War Journal. Oh, you know what? There's another comic I really want to cover. Like, I really, really, really want to cover, I'm not going to lie. That I think would be fucking banger. Dude, I'm telling you, there's a crossover between the Punisher and Batman. It is like one of the most god tier, one of the most god tier crossover comics of all time. It is just so fucking amazing.
definitely gonna have to cover it for the squad. Hey, don't forget, boys. You drop that super chat. It's guaranteed. If not, I'm, I'm not gonna guarantee it. And I tell you what, we'll keep rolling, boys. We'll keep rolling on this train until we get the super chats to stop. I got shit to edit today and I'm down to hang out, but y'all gotta keep me here. I'm gonna leave it to you guys. No pressure, no hatred, but I gotta pay these bills, boys. And I'm here to make it happen. Unfortunately, uh, the goon we were talking about today is not providing me any money, nor is giving me any viewers, so I'm not getting shit from that. Damn, I love me some synthwave, boys. Ty, just uh, DM it to me on uh, on Discord, and then uh, I'll share it on my YouTube so a lot more people see it than just on the Discord. Um, Carrot Top says I'm in Marvel, just liking X Men and Ultimate Spider Man currently. Uh, yeah, I'm interested to see where you're at in terms of X-Men. I love me some X-Men, dude. They're so underrated. They have some of the best stories of all time. Bar it. None. I will die on that hill. I don't care what anybody says. I will die on that hill. What is a character I'd like to scale properly, but there's just too much? Uh, honestly, the majority of Marvel and DC. Like, I feel like a lot. what a lot of people do is that... They read like several prominent runs and then that's how they gauge their skill. That's the easiest way to do scaling. It's, you just read a few runs, super easy, super simple, super straightforward. To me, whenever I scale out a champion, I read every single appearance beginning to end. There are not a lot of people who do that. And I think uh, that's a lot like Superman. If I was to give you like a genuine scale with every single hacks and ability Superman has, that would be one of the hardest things ever to do due to how wildly difficult. I think I was talking to Zeus in the server just the other day about like how difficult it would be to read every appearance of Superman to make sure you weren't missing anything. Because you will miss things. Like that's the frustrating part is you will you will miss stuff. Even when you do plan on reading absolutely everything, there's still times where you'll miss something. You'll be like, fuck dude. I swear I went through that list top to bottom. Damn, easy boys. That's an easy W right there. When I scale, do I also look at other characters' runs just in case they appear in other characters' runs? Yes. When I say I scale every single appearance, not just the appearance, not just the appearances of their solo runs. Some of the best scaling for characters comes from other runs that aren't even their mainstream runs. So definitely something to consider. How powerful is the collective unconscious in DC? Wildly powerful. It's one of the seven foundational energies that all of creation is founded upon. So yeah. Pretty jacked. Like, pretty jacked, I would say. Comparable to the emotional spectrum, the God Sphere, etc., etc. Let's see. Ooh, Keep Talking says, since he's a Theromax Core member, weirdest crossover you guys have ever seen? Uh, the Mask and Lobo, I think. That was just like one of the, I would have never guessed it, but it happened. <laughs> yo, yo, Rock and Alice says major force video when? <laughs> yo, actually it probably wouldn't be too bad because I don't, I don't think he's got heck a, heck a lot of uh, like appearances or anything. So I don't think that would be too bad. 
I have been gathering scans for a major force GL the beef. That that is true. You're in there, Rock. You know about it. This man's acting like I like he doesn't know over here. You know, big shout out to Rock, bro. He's like one of the biggest supporters of my fucking channel. He's such a homie. Yo, we got 24 people chilling. Make sure you've liked and subscribed if you haven't. I know we have more people inside this chat right now than we have likes. So what are you doing with your life, boys? Also, keep these super chats coming, boys. The super chats stop, and unfortunately, so do I. I could be making more content for y'all. Damn it, I did take that. Fuck. That looks like that's what we're doing, boys. All the Looney Tunes crossovers, too, are also really fucking funny, dude. Like, really fucking funny with DC. God dear, bro. Those were some more really funny crossovers. Hey, what's up? Nothing important here. Here's a channel, uh, a channel homie. Yeah, we just finished up talking about that jazz a while back. It was kind of sad. What is the most wanked verse that I know of? That's tough. Probably, probably like SCP or Umaneko. All I ever hear is people jerk those off like super, super hard, or like My Hero Academia. A lot of the newer anime just seems like people are I don't know whether it's like just casuals are getting into anime and so like the average person who's involving themselves is just like a potato or something but bro they just don't know what they're talking about they're like clueless but they feel like they have a very they feel like they know what they're talking about that's for fucking sure hey later ty thanks for hanging out You know, what else we got, boys? Hit me with something. Hit me with something. Yeah, I could do that. Yeah. Boom. Why are Keep Talking's comments disappearing? Not a clue. Here, I'll solve, uh, I'll solve that problem for you. Keep talking. That's another easy W, boys. Another easy W. Easy Ws. Yeah, DS, you're right. Umaneko, nobody fucking plays the game. It's one of the least popular games uh, on Steam, unfortunately. Nowhere near comparable to any of the big boys. Okay, probably saying keeping the stream alive with the super chat it says what steer what series am i most nostalgic for and would you scale them oh that's tough i'd love to do halo i've started out a little bit on that and i'd love to do mass effect too very different than pretty much any of the other content that i do but i think it would be really really uh really solid like really solid uh awesome stories to tell but not just stories to tell dude like genuinely, genuinely fucking good. Uh, but then it would be cool because I could actually like play a game on stream for you guys that would be relating to the, the actual content they talk about. That's the thing that sucks for DC is there's no good DC game that you can just casually play like while I'm hanging out, uh, scaling things and things along those lines. But yeah, great question. Great question from Probably Sane, man. Mass Effect is fucking goaded, bro. I don't care what anybody says. I will die. I will fucking die on that hill, bro. It is God tier. Holy shit, dude. I'm building an army. 
Man, what's some other ones I really wouldn't mind doing? I wouldn't mind doing a lot of like cartoons and stuff because believe it or not, I, I feel like I say that a lot, but believe it or not, I'm actually really big into fucking cartoons, dude. And I think it'd be really cool to do like Adventure Time and some of the lesser known cartoons that I think have genuinely, like genuinely good applicable scaling. Three oh five thief. Uh, if you're reading your comics from Read Comics, it doesn't surprise me, especially if it's on mobile. Do it on a computer, you solve that problem. Ooh, or you know what? Like, I'd love to do Billy and Mandy. You know, that shit would be fucking hilarious to scale out Billy and Mandy, bro. Oh my god. The thing that sucks about doing them though is you gotta do like the entire cartoon network verse once you start messing with one cartoon because they all have so many fucking uh like they, they have so many fucking crossovers with other major figures right because like if i do them then i have to do codename kids next door and then megas xlr and then uh ben 10 because it's all like this massive united front too that's like another frustrating thing with uh ben 10 right like, if you want to get the best version of Ben 10, go comp Ben 10 and then do every crossover that Ben 10 has inside uh, the Cartoon Network stuff. Because he crosses over with some other really big, like, really big fucking, uh, like, franchises and things along those lines. That and another really frustrating thing I'll admit that I suck at and I I've just got to get better at is, dude, video is so copyright copyrightable. It's fucking horrible. Like, video, putting video from cartoons and stuff up is incredibly nightmare. Incredibly nightmare, bro. Oh, my God. It, even the videos I have now, I tried uh, messing with that idea a little bit with uh, some of my other live-action DC content, and it got flagged, like, four separate times, bro. It was a fucking nightmare. I hated that shit. But who knows? Maybe. Yo, I tell you what I'm also gonna do. Not all of you goons uh, that are actually chilling in chat over here. Yo, I'm gonna drop. I'm gonna drop this little bad boy here. I'm gonna drop this bad boy into the chat. Yo, jump in the server, homies. Look. If you guys have been hanging out, you're chilling in this chat with me, you need to be in the server, all right? I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Because if you like conversations like this, and you like talking to me, I'm in there all the fucking time. Come hang out. Now, keep in mind, this is not for creators. I don't do creators inside my discords, because uh, it just adds to problems. But if you're a fan of mine, jump in, come hang out, because guess what? We all are crazy big fans of media, and... This is all we do. All we do is just nerd out and talk about stuff. So if this is something that you are big into, hey, guess what? Stop by. I'm gonna be looking for people as they roll in. I'll give you, I'll tell you what, that's what we'll do. I'll give you a shout out if you show up at the server. Yeah, Keep Talking says Ben 10's crossovers with Generator X and Secret Saturdays are canon. Yeah, I'm talking about like the uh, uni or the multiverse wide uh, canonical crossover events that they have. Like the, uh, oh my god, what was it? Uh, shit. Oh my god, I can hear Don yelling at me right now from somewhere behind me. It's basically like this line wide comic book event where uh, the, it was basically this villain named Lord. Oh god, Lord fucking explode or something he basically rolls up and fights the entire cartoon network multiverse and like ben 10 was there he lost to this guy lord fuse that was his name lord fuse uh, ben 10 loses to him megas rolls up and fights him at his absolute best uh the powerpuff girls were there they lost to him like he fights fucking everybody bro it's crazy my knowledge whenever it comes to cartoons is fucking vast okay i have a huge knowledge base whenever it comes to that shit Super Secret Crisis War. That's what it was. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, that's the big one to me. Because, like, his other crossovers and stuff are cool. It's like, oh, hey, we're kind of showing up to uh, this place, right? Uh, and we're just going to hang out for a little bit. 
No, that Super Secret Crisis War, that shit was, hey, we're here. Like, everybody's connected. This shit is happening, bro. And asses are being kicked. Like, that shit was low-key wild. Yo, why did I get pinged? Who's pinging me over here in Jobber's server? People think they can just ping me now? Fusion Fall being another classic, too. Yeah, you're not wrong. You're definitely not wrong on that. Okay, let's see here. Where do I want to keep going, boys? Looks like we're going to fighting. Good old Victor. Best character in the game. Let's go. What else we got? Ooh, looks like we have one member jumping into the server. Let's go. Hold up. I can't see his name because I have my stream shit on. Okay, let's follow back up. Yo, and Tropical Forest entered. Let's fucking go, boys. We got one new member to the server just for chilling. Thanks for hanging. Yeah, Cartoon Network has a lot of really, really solid scaling. Like, really solid scaling. Yeah, Lord Fuse literally went to b beat all of Cartoon Network to death. It was is low key wild, bro. Like the greatest minds. You had like the uh, you had like Professor Utonium, uh, Dexter, Mandark, and like the greatest minds ever coming up with technology for the heroes to use to fight Lord Fuse. It was crazy, bro. Ben was like, "Oh, I'll beat him. I'll just go. Uh, I'll I'll just go fight him again." <laughs> and they're like, "Bro, you tried. Chill. <laughs> you got your ass kicked." Yo, Powerpuff Girls are low-key, low-key underrated is all I'm going to say. Especially if you include crossover content. Don't hate on, on the Powerpuff Girls, bro. Yeah, I don't think he's got the immeasurable speed there. <laughs> Man. What do you guys think is going to come from everything here, huh? Makes me wonder. Uh, nah, I think I just take this, actually. Yeah, we're just going to take that. Yeah, Dude, I'm telling you, measurable power buff girls. Low-key wild. That's not even including all the comics and shit they have, because they have an entire runs and, and things along those lines. I'm a big fucking weeb, don't get me wrong, but, like, I'll admit I haven't read the Powerpuff Girls fucking comic books, and I can only imagine what's in there, bro. I can only imagine what's in those comics, man. You know they're fucking packing in there. Uh, well, I tell you what, boys, we've been chilling for a minute. We got like an hour and a half rolling up. Uh, normally I like to stream for at least two hours, but man, I got a lot of shit I got to roll up with. So if you haven't already, like and subscribe. We'll hang out down the way. But uh, I think we're going to call it here, boys. Hope you guys enjoyed the chat. The wonderful debunk of destiny here. Because what an experience. I tell you what, I'm going to immediately jump into my Discord, though. Um, so I dropped the link in the chat. If you want to come jump in, that link is not active for long. So make sure you jump in and come hang out. We've already got a few homies to the channel hanging out there now. So go hang out, chat, make some friends, become a lantern, and you pretty much know how it goes. Thanks for checking out the review, everybody. Later, lanterns.